Another great invention from Australia to the world. Yeah. First, our next finalist. Motorbikes may well be exciting to ride, but they're not a great place to be in a crash. The statistics are quite alarming, which is why helmets, of course, are compulsory. But how much protection can a helmet actually give you? Well, another thing inventors need is a lot of commitment. Don Morgan has been working for 20 years to try and make a safer bike helmet. My name is Don Morgan. I live in Brisbane and I'm the inventor of the cone headliner for helmets. This is my wonderful wife, Donna. I've been with her for 25 years. Conehead has been part of our lives and it's been part of our children's lives for many years. As a physicist in the mid 80s, I was working on a research project that looked at the effectiveness of motorcycle and bicycle helmets. Well, he could see that the accident victim was being injured, but the helmet wasn't, so it needed to be the other way around. The helmets were meeting the needs of standards, but they weren't meeting the needs of people. One hot and muggy day, I was preparing a lesson on pyramids and prisms. I felt tired, so I decided to lay down, and then it came to me, square base pyramids within the thickness of the liner. And then I thought, no, not pyramids, it has to be cones. When I received the independent test results, I felt greatly relieved. I felt that I could save lives. I could never live with it if I knew I'd given up. I feel really happy for Don that he's reached the grand final of the new inventors because I feel at long last he's getting recognition for all his hard work. Please welcome from Brisbane, Don Morgan. <laughs> Mate, you must be tired after that ride. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 20 years. Did you feel like giving up many times? Uh, yes. I, th I don't think I would have been good if I'd walked away from it. Yeah. So that's, that's a motorbike helmet. This is your yeah, motorbike that's helmet. That's an open face motorbike helmet. Yeah, yeah. this is your motorbike helmet. And you can see yeah. the, um, the sort of the dark bits. There's yeah. one. And yeah. there the cones pointing yeah, they're, through. Yeah, they're the tips of the cones that are coming through the liner itself. And if we have a look at, yeah. a, at a cross section of it, there, once again, you can see the cones, and, and there, the, the foam's sort of holding it all together, right? It's all fused. Yeah. It's all fused in the manufacturing process. Now, let's talk about the cones and why they're the right shape. Am I right in thinking that they will absorb quickly on impact at the top of the cone, but then slow the yeah, impact that's right. down? I call them deceleration cones. Deceleration cones. Deceleration cones. Yeah, right. Yeah, the one thing you don't want is that head to rapidly decelerate. You've, you're in five sections here, and why is yeah, that? That's very important, because for the first time, there's a helmet that is considering the weaknesses and the strengths of the skull. And so no so you can put there. greater padding in, for example, you've got greater padding on the temples, because yeah, well, they're the most yeah, they're well, vulnerable. That's right. And less in other areas, that's or right. different padding in other areas. All, All right. right, come over to the panel. Yeah. What's, um, what's happened since, you've been, since you were on the show? There's very, some interest very, in very, Australia, very, isn't it? Yes, very, very exciting. We, we've had, um, because of the first um, time that I appeared on the new inventors, they, 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 I got a huge response. And the um, helmet manufacturer now decided to um, push it into the Australian market. Well, that's a, that's a good thing, that's Chris. Fine. Well, Don, the reason you know, this is on the band yes. grand final tonight is because this really, on the surface, has the potential to rewrite the Australian and the international standard. Exactly. But, but yeah. there needs to be a, a real survivability increase, if you like, when it's used in practice. So yes. I guess my first question yeah. to you is, how many kilometres an hour does it add to the survivable impact that you can get well, in, from hitting a crash helmet yeah. into the ground? That is very difficult to answer, right, because everyone has got a different tolerance level. Um, Don, if you were to be able to have completely controlled circumstances, so you had like crash test dummies, yes. replica accidents, yes. and you had one dummy with uh, the best available helmet yes. and another dummy with your helmet, would you would you be able to guarantee that there'd be um, less impact on the head of the crash test dummy? Well, that's that's right. We can do it in the in the laboratory. Yes. We, we can come up with a determined figure. We know that it improved by 20%. 20%. Time in, uh, that's the time of impact, right? 
and and we know the crushing you know we know the improvement in crushing right and we, we put an emphasis on the elliptical crushing and um, we, that was the uh, shock wave that the head form produced in the liner and that, that was around about 10 percent improvement mm -hmm. that's compared to single density foam okay Sally yeah Don I think your difficulty in answering the questions about how you can quantify is also related to the fact that you know as people get older and different people have different needs and I think what you've done with your geometry is you've been able to sort of zone your cones haven't you so that you can separate out those areas of the head and control a little more and possibly for kids it, it, do a right. different combination of low density foams to suit various sort of demographics and things that's, that's right. an advantage of your system so isn't it? The, the most important thing is that there's kids out there wearing helmets that are made of the same foam as what I'm wearing, right? And our kids' skulls are much more fragile. They, they, it's around about the, the age of 17 or 18 they become adult skull bone, right? Mm. Don, th what's really exciting about yours is that the other applications, like in uh, baby capsules for cars yes. or the lining inside a car or what have you, yes. Can you take your cone, um, your fused cone system down to quite a thin layer or is that about as thin as it can get? No, it, it's, we, can re we can reduce the thickness of it. Great. Right. Okay. So now, Chris, I think what I'm hearing from you yes. is that in the same head in the same accident is 20% better off mm. on your data than yes. it would be without it and that's mm. significant. Mm. Thank you very much. It's brilliant. It's a beautiful design, mm. Mm. and uh, it, it really sounds like it's going to make a difference. So, yeah, I just think the simplicity of using that shape to decelerate in that way seems really obvious, and the fact that you've done it your way is, is brilliant. Well, Good it's on you, Doc. Twenty-two years. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Good on you. I hope it doesn't take you another no, twenty no, years to get really it out. Please John Morgan. Good on you. Judges have made a decision. Let's get them back. Come back, judges. Come back. And we'll bring the inventors back too. Okay. Have you got a winner? We've got a winner. It was tight, but it's unanimous. All right. Can I have that? Thank you. I'm not going to open it though. I'm going to give it to someone else to open. Please welcome our very special guest, 2006 Inventor of the Year, Chris Boshua. Hello, mate. How are you going? Good, James. How's yourself? Very well. Now, your invention, the ears system, was a was an air compressor that, that all the noise with the air rushing out, you captured that, reduced the noise so you so it's far quieter, but then used what you captured to continue to, to, to power the air compressor. It's brilliant. How's it going? Very, very well. What's happened? We're in twenty seven countries now. Wow. So we're a public company now. As You're well. a public company? Yep. Oh, that's so exciting. Yep. So busy. The 2007 Inventor of the Year will receive a package of prizes from Austrade, Oz Industry, the CSIRO and IP Australia. Those organisations will provide targeted assistance to the winning inventor in taking their invention to the next level, both here and overseas. Inventing is often a lonely business and this sort of specific experience help could make a huge difference. Who is it, pal? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, what do you think? <laughs> The new inventor's invention of the year for 2007 is Dan Morgan with the cone headliner. I don't need to ask you how you feel. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say? I can't think at the moment. No. I, just, I just want to thank everyone here today. Just you know, everyone here is just deserving of it. And um, I want to thank my wife and my wonderful family, all my friends. I'm sorry. I just That's all right. Congratulations. Thank Congra you. Thank you. Once again, congratulations. Tonight. Our judges, the incredible people that make this show uh, happen, the inventors. See you next year. Good night.